coming up on this adventure. ready to take off our backpacking trip and we've got Lacey and Andrew here Howdy. and a bunch of people showed up last night there's Joey we've got Anthony who came all the way from New York we have a uh, Jason over here from Colorado and yeah it's gonna be a great trip you ready to backpack Yellowstone I am let's go let's go see some bears I think we're in a bear jam or something because traffic is uh, pretty much at a standstill. <laughs> we are on our way to the Slough Creek Trailhead. We will be doing hopefully a two night, three day backpacking trip. We had to adjust the trip because of the front that's moving in. So this is all dependent on whether we may hike out early, but we'll see. It's uh, nice right now, just a mix of clouds and sun but I do know rain is coming and snow as well. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for good weather and hopefully an amazing trip. My first backpacking trip of 2022 and only my second time backpacking in Yellowstone. As we drew nearer to the trailhead, the weather was looking more ominous, a foreshadowing of what was to come. We've made it to the trailhead. It seems like it's been days and many miles getting here, but we're here, no rain so far. Get to walk a little bit, been days of driving, so it's gonna be amazing. Super, super stoked to be here at the Slough Creek Trailhead, getting ready to set out on the Slough Creek Trail. I mean, I think I can bring it all. How big's your pack, pretty big? There would be seven of us on this trip, which is a larger group than I'm used to. But in grizzly country, as far as I'm concerned, the more the merrier. The entire group was aware of the impending weather. However, no one opted out. Not one person wanted to miss the opportunity to backpack Yellowstone, rain or shine. There is so much wildlife here and predatory danger that it makes it a very unique and exciting experience. I've seen them a few times. There's been a few times like right by the camp we're going to where I'm, it's like this where you're sitting out there and you I've looked up and just seen a wolf coming right right up the trail until it spots me. So we just have all the animals. The hike has been beautiful so far. The weather is cooperating so far. I'm a little rusty with the backpack. It took me a long time to pack and it feels heavy right now, but it is absolutely gorgeous and well worth it.
We just saw a moose and now we've got bison out in the meadow. It's a great thing about Yellowstone. Lots of wildlife. We made it to our camp. Everybody's getting set up, talking, gathering firewood. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with a great group of people. Everyone's super cool. Couldn't ask for anything more and a better way to spend Memorial Day weekend. In grizzly country, I definitely want to set up camp near others. The evening was spent enjoying each other's company and sharing stories around the fire until almost midnight. It's been raining all morning. I'm trying to wait it out before going out for coffee and breakfast. Seems like it's getting a little lighter, but it may be raining all day. There are bison grazing way on the other side. The rain wasn't stopping, so we got a nice warm fire going to enjoy breakfast by. We were contemplating whether we should move on to our next campsite. We had such a great fire going and we wondered if the people that had the site reserved this evening would show up. Worst case scenario, if they did, we would just pack up our stuff and move on. been raining all day. It is afternoon now. We are still at camp number one. We're just kind of taking our time. We've had a fire going and uh, just uh, wait, waiting it out. Hopefully the weather will get a little better, but if not, we're just going to head out and head to our next camp most likely. Unless the people don't show up that are supposed to take over ours, we may stay. But uh, we decided just to get moving and walk down to the Slough Creek. Well, we've decided to hit the trail. We packed up camp and we are on our way to our next camp. Uh, it's still raining, hasn't stopped. I think it stopped for maybe 10 minutes, <laughs> but it's light enough that we can continue on. And uh, there are some bison on the trail ahead of us. So we'll have to skirt around them. There are two of them that I can see. Um, I put away my Sony because it's raining, I don't wanna wreck my camera. So I think most of today will be shot on my phone.
we're heading off trail here to avoid the buffalo, the bison that's right there. What do you guys think of the rain? It's uh, very yeah, Washington-like, actually. <laughs> From 1 a.m. to now, just non-stop. Our second camp was only a couple of short miles from our first camp. We were hoping for another night around the fire. Mother Nature was not having it. She allowed just enough time for us to set up our tents before it rained harder and longer than before. We have arrived at camp. Looks like a pretty sweet spot. Good morning. We got a little snow here last night. It's quite a bit overnight, but a lot of it's melted already. I didn't film anymore yesterday because it started pouring rain. We just had to set up our tents and we stayed in our tents pretty much all night. Couldn't get a fire going or anything. Looks like a beautiful morning so far. Definitely still a lot of weather hanging around, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm just enjoying it and this beautiful dusting of snow. It was time to hike out and end the trip. Backpacking in Yellowstone is magical no matter what the weather. And what made this trip even better was spending time with old friends and meeting new friends. It is a trip I will never forget.